Welcome to episode nyingine moto sana. Hii inaitwa Men Hacks. Mimi naitwa Gachin, rapper, content creator. So kumbuka on the previous episode nilikuwa kuambia facts about Tinder. Sawa. So kama uje watch your episode, that was the previous episode and also kumbuka kama una watch hii video sasa hii na bado uja subscribe, please consider subscribing because each and every day I'm posting a new video for you and also kumka kuniachia ka like any time una bambika na video yangu. Sawa. So on this episode ya leo naenda kukuambia what happens after intimacy. Sawa. So join me on this episode and let's go. So one of the things that is likely to happen anytime probably intimacy may happen and by intimate unajua na maanisha nini unaona like two people wamekam pamoja chali dem wame have sex una get so what happens is especially said ya chali kuna kitu inaitwa post nut clarity so post nut clarity na happening anytime chali ame you know ya may release So what happens to the guy anapigangwa na reality check nyingine anaanza kujiuliza maswali mingi una get so probably yes ameenda up na udem probably may happen but then what happens post nut ni ati kuna kujana ka clarity fulani una get kacha leo anaanza kujiuliza maswali mob mnaona mbona nafanya hivi mbona niko na udem unaona udem by the ni mrembo hapo sasa ndio naanza kujigage una get and the reason usually who happen hivyo ni ju probably ile time ulikuwa unaenda kufanya hiyo kitu kuna venye tu like mind yako na jua inakonga mbali hata ya dem lakini like safo chali kuna venye after hiyo post na tu ya kwanza kuna venye clarity inaanza kukurudia una get so from hapo ndio chali either by the anaweza decide you know kukunya mazia kuweka dem kuna venye anaweza decide kuku ghost just because kuna venye kuna clarity fulani imekam kwake unaona and e clarity na depend now probably even kama anakuona kawe ni mrembo ama wewe si mrembo kama ameenjoy ama aje enjoy unaona hizo ni vitu zote zenye zita come in form of clarity na get anaanza ku realize by the way hapana udem udem na simongeleshi tena unajua the other thing that is likely to happen unapata ngam ameanza ku fall in love even more hapo ndo unashtukia ngat udem amekwambia i love you ama unashtukia chalia amekwambia i love you unaona in the process ya kukua too intimate unasikia tu msia shafu nguka roho unaona so love inaanza ku flow much more because probably before mko mnaongea anga tu so now imeanza kukua intimate unaona kitu kingine utanotice it happen mtaanza kuanza kukua comfortable around each other unaona like stories ina flow sasa hivi sasa mnaongea nikama mnajua na for years una get just because mmekuwa intimate with each other kuna venye two story mnaanza kuwa comfortable mnaanza ni kama juu hiyo connection fulani kuna venye tu hiyo space inaanza kuwa comfortable au feel ni kama mse mwingine anakuangalia sana una get una feel tu umeingia zone fulani yenyewe ni kama unaweza trust sasa huyu partner wako you get so just because meenda hiyo intimate because intimacy una journey more of vulnerability so just because meenda hiyo point meanza kuwa vulnerable with each other unapata mko more comfortable around each other so one thing i should say that anytime umeko intimate na mtu it means nyi mnaikia na scores una get kuna venye mimi nikikuangalia probably depending on performance yako nitasema eh hey, kuna venye udem kuna venye ajui a b c d una get and probably dem pia ataniangalia aseme eh hey, wacha live venye amena taraka it means wacha li kuna venye ajazoe hii kitu you get so you are always constantly mnapeana marks tu hapo hata kama mtaambiana unaona kuna kwa gatu na hiyo impression fulani ya eh hey, umse acha ni impress you get and especially machalindo wanapatanga the end of this because Eh dem unapata sana sana from hapo ataanza kukujaji especially kama uli na taraka unapata dem anaanza kukujaji una get anaanza ku feel eh uchali kuna venye una get already ashaanza kufikiria venye ataku replace so you need to get to a point where you understand by the way ka performance yako si fit hiyo siku na unajeneza depend na days so probably kuna siku liwai perform fit kuna siku me perform una get so mimi naweza advise ka wewe ni chali ka ni first time yako na udem manzo usiangushe unaona you really need to perform cause venye wao dem ataku view after hapo it a depend na venye utakuwa umeza perform unaona another thing that might end up happening unaweza pata be the udem and make sure the next time anakuja huko tena utakaa sana una get and nini inaweza depend by the na performance yako probably haukumbamba hiyo day kuna venye aliona eh utali kuna venye performance yake iko down so probably juu hiyo ataku make u beg for the next time atakuona and also the reason why anaweza fanya hivyo ni ju probably atakuonesha I by the way ujue hauta kuna nipata rais you get so yes amekuja mara ya kwanza ime happen but kumpata mara ya pili inakuwa ni hard kabisa unaona so mimi naweza kuambia kacha li anytime unaona imefika point una realize udem kuna venye hard die story yako ama kuna venye ameondokea after ume hit hata yeye ondokea so what usually happens na ina happening kwa madem sana unapata anytime chali amepata chance ya ku hit 
ata goes to a dem unaona so inaweza kuwa for many reasons probably tali ataki kitu serious na najua the more endelea ku hit the more odem atataka kumkwamilia unaona so tali utaona ata distance ama atalenga to your story ama ata ku ghost just because probably hataki sasa iku relationship unaona hataki iku kitu serious anajua wewe by the time una hit mara ya pili utaanza story za emotions una get so unaweza notice tali ameanza tu ku distance unaona so the minute weka dem me realize uchali kuna venye anaanza ku distance probably umeanza kumpe vibe ni kama the next time utapatana utaanza story mob ume already umeanza kumtext us juu what are we ni nini and probably alipata tu chance ya ku hit mara moja so the minute weka dem umeanza hizo vitu uchali ataanza kukupe distance cause probably yeye eh, ataki relationship ataki kitu serious unaona The other thing that is also likely to happen utapata meetups zitakuwa mob unaona maybe probably mara ya kwanza mlijibamba ikakuwa funny ni nini so unapata kuna venye nyua wili mnadai kitu na get so dem anadai chalia anadai so mtaendelea kupatana unaona so the meetups will be more frequent you get na hapo ndio unaweza pata dem anakuambia ni aje tunaweza kwa FWB ni nini ni just cause anaona probably ana enjoy kitu and probably anaona wewe udai relationship ama unataka kitu serious na get so most girls watakuingisha eh tukue the FWB but tunaona along the way anajaribu kuleta ni kama anataka ikuwe kitu serious na get and it afika point udem anakonesha ni aje by the anakupa ultimatum ni either wingi na relationship ukubali kumdate ama ajitoe unaona so even ndio unapata nga most friends with benefits zinaishanga the minute them ameanza ku complicate issues anaanza kukupea ultimatum anakuambia ni aje by the mimi tusipoingia na relationship kama utaki tuingia na relationship me i'm not ready to do this anymore and most of the times na kwanga probably in your last meetup kuna kitu ulifanya kachali unaona and ikamuudhi sana so aka decide hey, by the uchali kuna venye na take for granted wacha nijitoe unaona the other thing likely to happen anytime umekuwa intimate na mse ujue tu communication itaanza kwenda down unaona cuz probably mara ya kwanza alikuwa nakukimbiza juu hakuwa amepata chance ya kuhit so now ameweza kupata chance ya kuhit kama communication yenu haikuwa fit to begin with it means communication itaanza kwenda down unaona so mtakuwa mnaongea ngati ile siko nataka ku meet up and sometimes my demo na feeling ni kani unfair but it means anytime chali anafanya hivyo it means even on your side kuna venye kidogo hauko interesting unaona kuna venye kidogo ulete story kuna venye kidogo hauko accommodate stories fulani za uchali unaona so anytime umekuwa intimate na chali kawe ni dem kuna venye tu chali ana feeling ya accomplish kitu unaona so unapatanga communication inaanza kwenda down just because ana feel ile kitu by then kwa nataka nimeipata na kama unichali hakuwa ready kukuwa serious na wewe utaona saa communication imeanza kwenda down nikaa nikujitoa naanza kujitoa unaona also what is likely to happen ni mtafika point nyu wawili mdecide by the indo meetups ni more ina make more sense than kwenda outdoor unaona kutacha saa kuwa na hiyo pressure ya oh sijui twende outdoor dem atacha ku pressure una get so unapata the more mnaendelea hivyo the more sasa mtakuwa yenyewe indo is your thing na get probably some mefika point tunapika ngapa pamoja ma sleepover ma movie nights una get just because inaanza kuwa more comfortable because meanza kuwa more intimate unaona so what you'll notice also utapata by the way kuna venye mmeanza kufungukia na ma secrets una get and ina happening sana sana kwa madem unaona like unapata dem anaanza kufunguka secrets zake zile vitu hange wai kuambia about family yake anaanza kufilio safe space so the conversation will be more deeper anytime mekwa intimate na mse anaanza kuambia saa zile vitu zenye hako amekuambia unaanza ku understand even more cause ameanza kufunguka unaona what you are likely to expect also utapata dem atafika point ataanza ku you know ku expose insecurities zake and the reason for this ni ju probably anytime na kwa intimate unajua kuna venye mnavua nguo so kuna venye unaona skin yake kuna venye atakuwa you know very vulnerable na you know kuna venye atakuwa show insecurities probably ana feel ako na you know ako na tummy probably ana feel ako na stretch marks so utaanza ku notice hizo my insecurities na venye anaongea unaona so anytime unaanza kwa intimate kuna venye nika na jaribu kuficha ficha place fulani anytime ime happen kuna venye anakimbia kujifunika you get So anytime you get to that point unaanza kuona insecurities zake by this na kwanga gani you get and with that we've come to the end of this episode join me on the next episode next episode nitakuwa kuambia major differences between dating now and dating back then sawa so join me on that next episode and kama kawaida Thanks.